The number one problem with Englander pellet stoves with the double feed system is this. And it has to do with this switch right here. This is the problem that gives you the E1, E2 error where it shuts down like right after you start it up or shortly thereafter. Uh, and it's wicked frustrating. So this hose right here comes down and it attaches to the back of the combustion motor housing. And when this motor comes on, this pressure switch is reading the pressure from right inside here, right behind the motor. But the problem is the hose. And it's always a problem. Let me show this to you. Can you guys see that? See how it's all frayed? Listen. See, that's the hose splitting apart. Look at it. It's all kind of just, so that's not forming an airtight seal. See? See how frayed and broken that is? So they give you way more hose than you actually need. So what we do, uh, until you run out of hose, is you come back to an area where it's good and malleable and not hard and brittle, and then just put a cut on it. Right there, there we go, see it? So now we have a nice end and it's squishy and it's gonna form a nice tight seal. Okay, so this right here is the pressure switch. And you'll see that it has a black side and a gray side. The gray, the black side is positive pressure. So it's looking for pressure to push the diaphragm closed. And the gray side is negative pressure. And it's looking to suck the diaphragm closed. And when the diaphragm either sucks closed or pushes closed, it's going to connect the current across these spades right here. So the outside one, this one over here on the outside, this is your common. One wire is always gonna go on that side. And this is looking for vacuum pressure, so it's looking for low pressure. So it's gonna be the gray side. And that's going to be this first one over here. And the middle one is not going to be used. If we were looking for positive pressure, over here, which we're not. If we were looking for positive pressure, it would be common and then this first one. And I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can see it on there. Focus in. Right here it says NC and NO. Normally open, oh, sorry, normally open, normally closed. And that is what these wiring connectors are doing in their normal state. So, in its normal state, which is off, we want it to be normally open. And then when the motor comes on, it creates suction. That suction creates an event. The event closes the switch, which allows the unit to feed. If the motor is not putting the exhaust out because of back pressure from a clogged vent or a squirrel or something like that, or the simple fact that the motor is just broken, maybe a bird stuck in it or it's just done and it won't turn, the stove's not going to feed pellets into a dangerous situation where it would smoke out the house or start a fire. So this is a very important switch. Um, and this switch, this hose, these things need to work so you don't burn your house down. Um, and if this switch uh, can close when air is brought across the diaphragm, then it's probably working. Uh, these switches don't normally go bad. It's the hoses that go bad. So, or the exhaust motor goes bad. Or the little hose, the little barb that it connects to, is clogged from the inside and air won't pass through it. So before we get too far along, one of the things that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hose now that we've taken it off, we're gonna put it back on where it's supposed to go on the housing and we're gonna blow through it. Don't suck on it. You'll regret it if you suck on it. Um, and now we know it's free and clear. And then we're going to take our low side of the switch and we're gonna put that onto the hose. The switch doesn't always mount in this location. Um, this switch sometimes is mounted over here or mounted down here uh, or mounted up here. It, different years, they had different places to put the switch. I don't know why. Um, 
but it will always be 0.17 inches of water column and it will always have the blue wires going to it if it's made after 2004 and prior to that you're going to have to like discern which black wires are going to it. We're going to take our blue wires and put them back on the switch and it doesn't matter which blue wire goes where but it does matter which spade those glue on to. So we know that one is always going to go on the common like so and then the other one is not going on the middle one it's going on the inside one for the low pressure and we want to make sure that our wires are not touching anything that's going to get hot so we're going to root the wires down underneath the air intake and then come in from over on this side make sure that one's on the low pressure and that one is on the common and we're done with that